Hey, Vicki Crystal Lynn, and we're going to talk about today is we're going to talk about how to stay tuned in with your source every day. And um, because that's one of the biggest questions, how do I stay in tune? How do I stay balanced? How do I stay <sighs> like I can breathe? So as you're going through your day, and I can only share my experiences. So what you can do is you can tweak it a little bit, make it uh, your own. Everybody make it your own. Everybody's here to do it differently. Hey, sweetheart, uh, Cosma, Frey. Yeah, thank you for your wonderful energy, everybody that's here now. So as everybody's coming on, we're going to talk about how to stay balanced with your uh, source within you. So on my experience on uh, Vicky Crystalline, you can, yeah, life is magnificent. I think that's the truth. And so, um, on my, on Vicky Crystalline, it's been my whole journey of my awakening. So, it's got many codes. You guys can check that out. But how I myself have um, kept myself in balance is through breath, is through breath and through my intentions every day. And so, what does that mean? Okay, first, what we're going to do is we're going to do a three breath series. Three breaths, we're going to breathe in through the nose, deep into the heart, deep into the belly, deep into your sexual organs, and we're going to lock it into New Gaia. We're going to do this three times so that everybody is radiating now at the same frequency. So allow yourself to breathe now. So breathe through the nose now. One more time. One more time. Now I want you to feel your body. Feel your body balanced and steady. And feel yourself. Just feel yourself in the breath that you just took. This is where your authentic balance is, right here. When you breathe, it instantly balances your energetic system. Now, when you take a shallow breath, that doesn't really balance your system. So we've been taught that we breathe only in the upper, upper lungs and we don't take it deep into the belly, deep into your corners. So that's when I breathe and breathe it deep into your corners. Because then you get the breath through the whole body. And then it, uh, yeah, it energetics into everything in your body. Yes, you can feel that. So on my own process to stay in balance with source within me, um, first is to discover that there really is a source within you. Hey, Kelly. Hey, sweetheart. How y'all doing? So everybody that's joining right now, we're going to connect to source within you and then just by doing these processes every day, you can feel your source more balanced in your life. It will be easier for you to move through your own life. So in doing this is setting forth your intentions for the day and then also breathing through your day and then allowing each thing to be. So the first thing is to realize that there actually is energetic being inside of you. How do you guys want to feel your energetic being inside of you? How do you do this? It's very easy. And if you don't feel nothing in the beginning, eventually you will. But what you do is you take your hands and you place them over this area right here, right below your chest, above your belly button. That is where your core source is. That is where you enter your body. So in this right now, I want you to hand, put, put your hands over your body. It does not matter, left over right, right over left. It does not matter. But I want you to, to keep space in between, like three inches of space between your body and your hands. So let there be some space between your body and your hands. So in this space, I want you to feel the energy going back and forth from your hand to your body. Breathe into this. Shh. 
and you can feel maybe you just feel warm maybe going back and forth for your hand to your body or coolness or whatever but you can feel energy I feel energy because I've been doing it so long so the more you do it the more energetic you'll feel the more powerful you will feel that okay so in that source within you because we're all energetic beings I'm showing you a place of your entrance so that you can feel your own energetic field so and it's a good place to start so when I first started my awakening I placed my hands over over my uh, uh, this area where I just showed you and they call it the star chakra or something but anyway um, the starness but anyway when uh, I did this the first thing that I would do in my own awakening is I would set my intention for the day so what I do now is as soon as I waken I call even before I leave my bed as soon as I open my eyes I call for the highest potential of this day and you guys can say this after me and you guys can tweak it and make it your own it's meant to be that way so I call forth my highest potential of this day and anybody I meet or go anywhere I go is at its highest potential also and may my guides and the energy around me be more connected than ever before for I am better and better every day and it is so and so it is and every day I tweak those words every day I say something different so as I set for that energy it always makes me feel good in my body so I just really you know uh, feel into that energy so another thing that I do too is I get up and then um, I drink water and as water is very grounding to your system and then I meditate for like 10 to 15 minutes now you guys can do the meditation anytime you like but it is good to start your day with the meditation because it aligns your day so um, I do any type of meditation that's ever and sometimes it's just quiet meditation just sitting there and just letting everything be and then I call forth the highest attentions of whatever that my meditation is going to be or whatever needs to be brought forward and a lot of times it's just stillness of nothingness so then as I'm going through my day I ask for um, if I'm going out into the world that everywhere I go that it be at its highest potential and that I'm safe and so whenever I get in my vehicle I say that my vehicle is safe and that I am um, I am invisible to all CHP unless there's an emergency and yes you have those abilities and then I also too um, I bless me and everyone around me so when I'm driving down the road I bless me and I bless everybody driving on the road and then when I go into the store I bless me and I bless everybody in the store and everybody to be at the highest vibrational self of them and then if I catch myself where you're feeling that self of like exhaustion you know because um, you could feel that because that's usually you're taking on an entity or something has in, in integrated into your energetic field or an emotion is surfacing because what happens is uh, you feel something and then emotion surfaces because it has to attach itself to something that's part of you so then an emotion attaches to it and then you think it's part of you that it's your stuff and most likely it's not but it is yours as you're allowing the emotion to surface and you're allowing it to be carried out but if you learn to as soon as that that heaviness steps in you can feel it as you be more integrated into your body you can feel it as soon as it starts coming into you can feel the heaviness okay so now something's attached to my energetic field and you can do this anywhere no matter where you're at you could just sit and just breathe just do three deep breaths and I've done this anywhere, even at my kids' house, in the stores. I just stopped right in the middle and I just took three deep breaths. And then I clear in my mind, I say, I clear whatever's attached itself to me and I send it back with the other. And then I can feel it leave. Now, if you still feel the emotion to it, and it's bringing up, and, and you can still feel that emotion even though you've let go of that, that, that's part of the healing process that you need to do. So that emotion is being there to be healed within you. So um, everything is meant to be. So 
if you still have that emotion when you're in your safe place, let that emotion rise. Don't attach yourself to the emotion. Just let it arise and then start sending it love. I love you. No matter what it is, I love you. I forgive myself. I forgive myself. I forgive myself. And sometimes you do get hits on what that is. And just send love and gratitude to that for it showing you what it brought forward. Now, sometimes you will attach yourself emotionally, sometimes for days or for weeks or for years. The thing is, as soon as you say that you, oh, yeah, I remember that, yeah, I got attached to something. As soon as you catch yourself there, don't judge, don't judge yourself. As soon as you catch yourself, oh, yeah, I caught myself. Okay, all right, just let that be. Now I know what to do. I'm going to breathe and let this go. I'm going to let this motion surface and let it go. I do not need it anymore. Because each thing is being brought up because you are learning through it. So each emotion that is brought up, it's being brought up for to service you. So it's a gift. Even if it's a heavy emotion or whatever, it's surfacing because of something that has attached itself to you that you think is your own. And you are learning your own abilities. That's what I teach you. I teach you your own abilities. So when you feel this attachment of yourself, you can let it go. And then you will feel the heaviness release from your body. And then you just let it go. The, but the more you can reattach, and how we do the loop, is that we start reattaching to something because we're trying to figure it out. So in that figuring it out stage, you kind of reattach yourself and you will do the loop until you get off the loop and let it go. Because we're never going to figure out anything. All we can do is know that, oh, this is emotion is moving me in such a way and I got to so love and forgive it and whatever needs to be brought up, I love all of it. And I let it go. So as you're continuing through this day, say that you're at work and say that there's somebody there that's triggering you. That person is actually one of the highest of dimensional beings to be in your life. And the reason they're triggering you is because they're placed there to trigger you. You place them there to trigger you. So once you step back from your experience and you start breathing through your experience and you start seeing them differently because you're seeing yourself differently, then your world will evolve differently. When you start seeing yourself differently in life by doing your inner work, by breathing and staying tuned in every day and just by being aware of what's going on then you are showing the universe okay I, I'm ready I can take this so what happens is so you're being aware of your experience you're tuning in and then the universe says okay they're ready so they start giving you more and they start showing you synchronicities and they start showing you all different types of stuff to show you where you're moving along so then you see these things and then you're like, yeah, you can see what you can, and you can, you can just feel the love and light that your guides are here assisting you. And um, that's the one thing is, is that as you walk through your day, you're going to start noticing more and more things that have always been there, but they're now, you're seeing them differently. You're like, oh my God, I've never seen it that way before. And it's showing you a new perspective of itself. And it show you why you place them because everything around you is a representative of you. You put there, so it's amazing once you start waking to your unconscious every day as you're in tuned with your day, as you just breathe and just set forward your attentions. Because even if you don't believe it, you can fake it till you make it. Because consciousness doesn't know reality as real or not real because it's just an illusion. We're all just living in an illusion. It's just like having a movie here. So if even if you're watching TV, your your life doesn't know any different. If you're watching a movie or if you're living a life, it, there's no difference there. That's why TV is very harmful for us, especially if you're taking on a lot of heaviness there, because your your body and your consciousness takes that on as real. It knows it as real. It does not know the difference. So I hardly ever 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 watch any TV unless I'm drawn to something. So anyway. Um, as you're going through your day and you're finding yourself, oh my God, this feels a little bit heavy. If say you're in front of somebody, you can easily say as soon as you tune into yourself and you can feel them just sucking your energy dry. You can take your hand over your heart and you can just cut the energy off right there. You're telling your body right there, nope, no more. 
and you will feel that instantly and you will feel that department and you will notice that they will shift and change and you will know that they more likely they will leave the area as long as you don't tune back into them because a lot of times is you you cut the inner jetic off but then you start engaging again into the conversation and then you reconnect to them and what it is is you're actually learning your own abilities not realizing that your words are reconnecting you to what you may have just cut off so by that feel what is taking place when anybody's in front of you if they're drawing your energy and you take and you let that energy go I cut that energy you know to send their love and you don't even got to say anything to them you know uh, I just you know don't say anything or do whatever something of light something of light you know we'll just say I do not engage in this and then um, either they will leave or they will continue talking something differently or you will re-engage in it so you're learning your own abilities while you're doing this so and we go through loops through our day so something that you have done a lot a lot a lot of you're going to keep relooping it and it's going to show up always differently and the reason that it shows up always differently is because you keep reacting it and they're trying to show you a different way of how you keep creating the same thing so until you allow yourself to step off of the loop and you step off of the loop when you set it forward your day your intentions for the day when you start uh, setting forward your attention you start taking back your life and you start breathing through your life and you start letting go of the stress and the fear and the programs and the ego then your life starts showing up for you things start changing for you so as you're going through your day and you're noticing spots that feel heavy breathe through it and if people are in front of you it is a time of you honoring yourself if something is in front of you and you do not like the conversation disengage you have an honoring system of your body you are telling your body I'm not engaging this in anymore and if it doesn't cut off by you cutting away maybe it's time for you to leave so you are honoring your own experience each and every one of us are honoring our own experience now this is the time we're out of time for yeah we're just out of time of all that so as you're continuing through your day as you're walking you're like wow I got through that experience and I just breathe and I breathe and I breathe and then you're saying oh man I feel really light and then you walk through a door because each time you walk through a door it's literally like you're walking through another experience so say you walk and you've had a wonderful day and then you walk into this door but you didn't say anything about the store but in the morning you did set forward your full and your highest potential now you're walking through this wonderful day but now you have walked into an experience that is like chaotic you're thinking, oh my God, I asked for my highest potential. What is going on here? Well, even in the darkness, you're going to receive the highest potential of that. So, it is you learning your ability. So, you can change that energy no matter where you're at. You can honor your system. So, say you walk into a, 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 a place and it just feels dark. It feels heavy. So, sit, breathe, stand, breathe. <sighs> Should I continue here or should I leave and drop the light? Because there's a lot of times that we're placed in dark places to drop the light. Nothing more but to drop our light. Because in every dark place is us dropping our light. You do not have to do anything but drop light. So, sometimes you are pulled to do that. You are learning your abilities because we are both light and dark. So, as you are going through your experience and you notice, wow, I went through a really light day and then I went through this dark stage, but I knew how to get out of it. I knew to return to breathe. I knew to honor me. Ah, I just didn't feel so comfortable in my body, so I left it, but I dropped the light. So then you walk out of the door and you're like, okay, what am I going to do now? I'm going to release all of that. I'm going to leave it there. I'm going to release and shed my energy right now. I clear anything that has attached itself to me. And it is so. And breathe. And there you go. And then, when you walk away from this experience, you have cleared your energy field. So you're not walking around with things that have attached themselves to you to help you move along. So, as you uh, are finishing up your day and you're going and your gratitude for all the food that you've eaten and your gratitude for all the water you've drinking and your gratitude for everything that has happened in your life, 
even in doing dishes, I'm gratitude for the celebration of doing the dishes, of, uh, the celebration of eating, and for the, ne the next celebration of eating. Just look at life differently. And then what I do is at night, I am thankful for my day. I am thank you, thank you for the highest potential of this day. Thank you for everybody being here and tuned in and tapped into their highest potential. And I thank you. And as I sleep, I'm at my highest potential where my body be healed and sleep deeper than ever before. And when I wake, I wake to my highest consciousness of me better and better every day. And I do this every day of my life every day. And when I skip, I can feel a difference. So even if you do not believe it, you can change it by keep doing it until it does change. Because it does not matter. If you do not believe it, it will eventually happen. So this is an easy way for you to breathe through your day to stay connected to your source within. Feel the energetic body in you and I did that in the beginning. I would set for my attention in the day. I would feel the energetic body of me. And I could feel my body ignite to that, that I was saying, that I was, you know, bringing forth my highest potential of my day. And I could feel everything connecting to that. Because that's what happens. You start expanding into your dayness. And then you can start feeling everything happening. And then what happens is everything starts reflecting and then it just starts coming back to you. So you don't have to do anything. You don't have to push to have anything happen. It just comes back to you. So I hope that helps some. And if you guys have any questions, let me know. Hey Rita, how you doing? Hey Donna, how you doing? I, I said hello to all of you. Hey Jacqueline, how are you guys doing? Hey Catherine, hey Carrie, hey um, Marcella, hey Rana. Hey, everybody here is here right now. Thank you for your love. Thank you all for your love. Hey, Murray. Thank you all for your love. If you guys, Jana, if you guys have any questions, you guys can ask them right now. But the biggest thing is, is every day, as soon as you open, set forth your attentions for the day. And be thankful for the day. That's another thing I didn't mention. I'm thankful, thankful, thankful all day. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. And when I say God, I'm talking to my higher self, God. I'm talking to my highest being, God. I'm not talking to a God that's other than me. I'm talking to the highest being God of me, which is the highest being God of all source. So, because God resides within all of us. That's why we are all connected to one. So, I send love to all of you. I send love to all of you. If you guys don't have any questions, I send love. If you want to watch my Facebook, my, my YouTube, Vicky Crystal Ann, on my extension, very powerful. I send love. Subscribe, share, and like. May you all.